Greetings and salutations all, my name is Invisible the founder of Invisible's gaming channel, a stage for the stageless, and a voice for the voiceless. For those who know by now I had been boycotting Adstube's newly established degeneracy, that is anti-communication mechanism. Basically if you dare to own the audacity to speak your mind out, and use any of the blocked words, the system will literally block you from posting comments on everybody's videos as long as they aren't your videos. And if you dare to repeat multiple times, there is a risk that this cursed dictator will terminate your account altogether. Not only is the site nowadays telling you to watch full ads that are full feature film length, and to not skip any of them, but also now it's spitting at your face had you owned the audacity to even talk. Adstube is spitting at our faces like there is no tomorrow. They demand our money, and they aren't willing to give up any of our rights to us. Even people who are paying to remove the ads, are watching even more unskippable ads. After I was illegally muted for 4 times for 24 hours, and had to rewrite my comments for 15 times. Because the words I use are too hard for the snowflake of a shattered glass of an ads worshipping dictator. Users should have the right to pull a lawsuit against both Google and Adstube for all these cyber violations. And with the upcoming Mainfesto V3 I swear the federal cyber security will pull the plug from Google. Because its actions are officially cyber crimes. Injecting Firefox with malware JavaScript so that it works much slower on it, than on Chromium browser, plus the enforced ads to make sure all your experience will be 100% ads and no content anymore, this cursed self-proclaimed deity over the cyber world, needs urgent castration. Google, Alphabet, and Adstube are going too far with their madness. What is this video about anyway? Here are the 10 things I learned while I went into a boycott strike against this bigot site. It took from me the right to talk for 96 hours, I gave it a double whammy and boycotted using the chatting system on anyone else's content other than my own content, for an entire month, and I won't mind repeating it. My protest was to show everyone that I don't need Adstube's comments section at all. And that I can still communicate with my closest friends using other methods. Such as Discord, Rumble's comments, Twitter slash now named X, direct emails, other websites comments, you name it. Hell. Even ask my friend ZPTV123 how many times I keep asking him to check his Twitter slash now named X, account for my lengthy private messages instead of the overinflated live chat feedback on Adstube. So from the date 21 slash 10 slash 2023 to 21 slash 11 slash 2023 I didn't write a single comment on anyone else's videos, other than my own content. The bigot censorship loving, ads worshipper, allowed you to write on your own channel merely as a spit of kindness that you never deserved, and never will, just to keep you shut and stay bowing on all your fours like a stupid dog. I present you finally. 10 things I learned from not commenting at all, for one month on Adstube. 1. Communication is extremely overrated. And someone inevitably will write down whatever you were about to post for you regardless. 2. Majority if not all comments are offensive personal attacks, insults, swears, curses, and honestly replying to them is pointless, honestly it would be much easier had you traced them and then killed them. Comments as is are no longer something to do as you wish, it's not more restricted and controlled, so why bother writing text if you can both meet, exchange a bullet or two, and whoever remains alive goes back home. I'm not joking. 3. If you really watch the content of the video you are watching, instead of merely treating them as background audio books, you won't ever end needing to write comments, in fact I'm starting to really believe that Adstube can easily remove the commentary altogether and nothing will change. 4. As an introverted person, majority of the videos I watched, and the fact I spent majority of my time writing my college papers. I really didn't need the comments that much regardless. 5. You can record short videos, or comment on live streams, or just record very brief quick updates, hell, you can even record audio only updates. Honestly, writing comments really is not worth it. 6. With the rising trend of privating, and unlisting, and deleting videos due to copyright claims and losing your monetizing rights, this bigot site would rather the content creators lose their content, than not watch ads. 7. The fact that on daily basis the site deletes 2000 accounts, and monthly it deletes what is close to 2 million accounts, between bot throwaway accounts, and actual legit accounts, Adstube really doesn't want any normal content creator to exist anymore. It only wants corporate who pay it money to advertise their things, and nobody else. 8. Having console wars around, and the current political standings as well, as the fact you aren't allowed to walk against the flow, you aren't allowed to hate what others enjoy, 
I merely communicated my disagreement using dislikes, and lo and behold. My name is literal. My name is invisible, because I am invisible. And nothing I do is visible, since I'm invisible. Whatever reactions I did nobody cared. Maybe the only people who cared about what I had to say were my friends from the Beasts of the Altered Family, and the Discord server, free YouTube friends. There is nothing about you, in Adstub. None I am starting to miss Susan a bit. You know the CEO of Adstub that had the illegal copyright claim system installed in her own time and ruined all the content creator's hard work. The new Satan CEO has installed ads first, user never. No communication, you must give us money, and you'll only receive a kick up your ass as a reward. I have never seen before a website this hard demanding its users, to simply leave forever. 10 as a quitter who will leave content creation on Adstube forever once my 100th project is done, and I'll permanently move to Rumble, Twitch, Kick, Bitchute, Vio.me, or any other broadcasting website that is prepared to pay me for my content, I can easily see business with Adstube as an unsustainable career, working with Adstube will help you dig your early grave, tie you noose, bring the pills, get the dagger, gun, poison, the injection, you name it, and wait for you to kill yourself and go to hell where you belong. Working for Adstub is a failure career, and their contract with you can easily be cancelled whenever they want. And your money? They are cleaning their butts with it. On Adstub, unless you are a hacker, there is no justice, unless you take your rights with your own hands, and strike your enemy where it hurts mostly. You'll never be taken seriously. What I learned within 30 days without comments is. If you wish to be heard, and you demand your rights from this tyrant, you must castrate it, and burn it, then kick it while it's down, and shower it with extra oil. Alphabet must be ashamed of its business, Google is already a cyber criminal and Adstube is completely anti-user. Unless radical changes happen, the site will die sooner or later, and I'm waiting for the day it dies, so I can party. That's all what I learned within 30 days, thanks for your attention. Conclusion, working for Adstube is worthless, posting comments is pointless, Recording videos that will only inevitably demonetize shows you how little Adstube cares for its slaves and worshippers, as it keeps feeding its dick into your faces, claiming it owns you and your money both, and you have no right to reply or talk back. Adstube Google and Alphabet are officially playing God with their cyber crimes. I look for the day they officially shut down. We have proven that Adstube's problem began once Google's greed defiled YouTube's purity. Changing CEOs won't matter, Adstube's problem is extremely radical. And don't tell me that for such a giant corporation it's impossible for it to fall, Rome was a giant empire and it fell. Nothing is immortal.